Go on, Steve, shake, rattle and roll. All right, one green pepper, and we're going to use the hollowness of the pepper and the fact that the outside is, is quite hard um, to make uh, a shaker. So is it important all. it's green? No, nope, it doesn't matter what colour it is, but it does matter that it's a vegetable that has a hollow inside uh, with quite a hard casing on it. Now what I'm doing now is I'm actually taking out the, the soft stuff on the inside. So um, I'm just cutting out the, the stuff that's going to absorb the sound and it's also going to get in the way of the things that are rattling in it. So, so this is all the white stuff and the seeds and all that kind that's of right, the gunk pit. you have to normally cut out when you're making something that's with peppers. Right. Just as if you're cooking a meal. There we go. Except you probably not want to leave it intact while you're cutting these out because it's slightly more difficult to do. Presumably you can make shakers out of a lot of things as long as you could hollow them out. So you could make them out of, um, I don't know, presumably you could put stuff in squashes and... Squashes, oh. coconuts. One thing you do have to be mindful of actually is the amount of um, uh, uh, water there is, how, how wet it is inside. Because one of the things I'm going to use as an example of um, uh, as, as something hard to rattle inside it is um, rice. And of course if you hollow out something like a cucumber which will be very wet, then all the rice does is stick to the inside of the, uh, the container and it doesn't actually uh, the rattle very well. In fact, most wet fruit are useless for any of these vegetable instruments, aren't they, really? Yeah, I suppose that's true. OK, let's try this out with some rice, first of all. Just take a little rice and pour it in here. As it's white rice, because you will get white noise out of this. You want to take that joke again, Trevor? No, I just thought I just make bad jokes as you make right. this pepper okay. shake. I okay. don't know why. <laughs> you see, brown brown rice would have brown noise. Brown you see. noise, really low frequency. White rice, that's very true. We could play it to you and yes, see what happens to your bowels, couldn't we? There we go. Here we go. Right. So this is the first shaker. this away. I'm going to put it back in there for the time being. Now what we're going to do is take a few monkey nuts and now we've got a very different sort of shaker with a different tone. Here we go. And then if we were to shell some of these monkey nuts, and we just put the nuts inside, just on their own, we've got a different sound yet again. Here we go. Jimmy can put all sorts of things in shakers. Yeah, you can put anything. Actually, you just need something hard so that you, so that as they as they shake around inside it, you're going to use the resonant quality. Of the uh, of the shaker itself, of the of the pepper in this case. So let's just put a few of those in there and have a little sound, have a listen to what that sounds like. Of course, what we could also do is use the same shape to um, use it as a drum. And actually what we could do is stretch something across here and use the resonant quality again to make a drum. So if I was to get hold of a piece of gaffer tape, and stretch that across here, and another piece, trying to keep it as taut as possible so that the skin over the pepper will be stretched. 